Hi. In this video, I'll customize the site header with the Impreza WordPress theme. My site pages have different content, but two content elements remain the same, the header and the footer. When I need to edit the header, I can start by clicking the quick link at the top toolbar. It opens the header builder. This builder has pre-built templates that I can apply and edit. So I will choose one of them and save the changes. I return to the front end to check the new header appearance. In the header builder, I can easily add new elements, remove them, and reorder elements with drag and drop. After I save the changes, I can see them correctly applied on the front end. Commonly there's a need to provide different user experiences for different devices. It includes making different header layouts per device. With the header builder, I can switch between tabs for the relevant device and reorder elements for this exact device. And it won't affect the layout for other devices. I can assign device breakpoints for the header and the site itself at theme options. Site layout. Here I can see the sliders defining the screen width breakpoints to switch to the layout of the relevant device. What if I want to use several headers and use them for different pages? I can open the list of headers at Impreza, Headers. I create one by pressing the Add Header. Next, I type in the name and choose a suitable template. I want to create a header for the landing page. In this case, I don't need the navigation menu, so I will remove it and press the save button. Next, I will open the needed page and edit it with the live builder. I will open the page options at the bottom left corner. Here I can specify the header for this page. I can choose the default one, hide the header, or choose a specific header, for example, the one I just created. I'll press the save button and refresh the preview. If I want to do the same using the backend editor, I can apply the same changes for the header at the page layout block. If I want to change the header for my site but don't want visitors to see it before it's ready, I can do the same. I will specify a different header for the test page and adjust its layout. Once the header is ready, I can assign it as a default one at Theme Options, Pages Layout. I can set the new header for pages and other post types. I will save the changes and check the front end to see a new header applied. WordPress has some technical pages, such as archives, that display search results and archive pages for different taxonomies. I can assign headers for those as well in the Archives Layout section. Moreover, if I need to use different headers for different categories of the same post, I can easily do so. I open the Category Settings and can specify the header for its archive and posts. Thanks for watching. In this video, I've edited the headers for my site. In the following video, I'll edit the site footers.